So everyone in the Servants Ball has been involved in traditional music in one way or another. But the thing that kicked it all off was reading a book by Reg Hall about the life of Scantester, who was a, I mean, I guess he would be deemed as a traditional musician based in Sussex, born the end of the Victorian era, and I think he lived up to the 1970s. It's a very interesting book because it charts his whole career through music as, as kind of what was a gigging musician of the time. The fascinating thing in it, it has all the details of various bits of music that were played by both him and a lot of his contemporaries, particularly before the Second World War. Whilst these people would be seen as traditional musicians, a lot of the music they were playing isn't actually traditional. It's all sorts, isn't it? They were kind of magpies in effect, that they would, they would take from music hall. Um, some of the tunes might, might be a couple of hundred years old. Some of them might be something they'd, they'd heard on the radio. There was a big thing with the hop picking that used to go on, mm. you know, in Sussex and Kent. So you'd have a lot of people coming mm. down from metropolitan areas. And so there'd be suddenly these big gatherings of people who were almost in holiday mode. They would bring with them the music which they'd learnt from wherever they were from. So mm -hmm. I think that also pulled lots of music into the area from outside. Mm Tester, not only was he, he a, a great musician, but he was also a great step dancer, um, which is a, a type of dance that's pretty much been uh, lost from this area, anyway, from Sussex. There were people in pubs after a day's work. Uh, the pubs had these lovely um, brick floors and they often had hobnail boots on and they would just sing. Someone might play a, play a concertina or a fiddle or something and someone would just start step dancing away. And it was just as natural as that. And they'd sort of, you know, you just, make rhythms for the music. I think one of the interesting things about this period of music is obviously the folk song collectors extensively collected folk tunes. Now, a lot of the music which was actually played at this time isn't really folk music. And they would have just looked at it and gone, ah, oh, that's just popular music, we're not interested in that. You know, which was fair enough for what they were doing. But at the same time, a lot of this stuff has just sort of fallen between the cracks because it's not really pop music anymore. It's not folk music, which is sort of held up and celebrated. And so one of the things with this band is, is trying to get this music and bring it back to life. So the Servants Ball is uh, essentially a dance band. It's, it's music to dance to and it's joyous music that you can't help dancing to actually often. No. We're taking the spirit of the way they were playing the music mm -hmm. and the sources it came from and just seeing what we can do with that. The thing is with it, it's brilliant, fun music to play. Yes. You know, the live dancing's going on, yeah. there's all the musicians, what's not to like? I know, and try listening to it without just finding yourself start kind of bopping around. It's almost impossible, isn't yeah. it, I think? Well, it's the swing. Mm -hmm. Turned up some posh dinner party. Yeah. Oh, the performers are here! Yeah. <laughs>